guys, it's Reese here with a bit of an important video on a very urgent matter. We have a bit of an internet emergency situation. The FCC, the US government organization that is supposed to keep the internet fair and open, is about to do the opposite. Information has leaked out about their upcoming proposal that, and I quote Senator Al Franken here, would destroy the open internet. I've taken a lot of time to look at all the facts and it is not an understatement to say that this could indeed be the case. A few days ago, FCC chairman Tom Wheeler actually went on record to try and defend the upcoming proposal, even while confirming that the rumors are true. The FCC's proposal will allow ISPs to cut the internet up in fast lanes and slow lanes. He did also say that the FCC is still considering all options and that public feedback is key in the drafting of this proposal. So the FCC is officially collecting input from all emails that are being sent to openinternet at FCC.gov. Emails sent here are actually being added to the FCC's open internet rule docket. So if you send an email to openinternet at FCC.gov and tell them that you feel ISPs should not be allowed to decide which websites and services reach people faster than others, they will officially add your comment to the dossier and to the whole legal process of drafting this proposal. For additional info on what you can add to your email, check the description because I added a lot of stuff in there for those who want to go all out. If you want to be even more effective at getting the FCC's attention and making your point more clear, let me give you some more info on the issue. Just to give an example, our community has raised more than 11 million dollars for charity through the internet in the past years. And it's thanks to things like YouTube and Twitch being treated equally to other services that may be owned by large cable companies that we have the ability to do so. Under the FCC's new rules though, it's likely that years from now, we will not have the power to save thousands of lives by making our voice heard on the internet. Based on statistics and insider reports, several ISPs, including Comcast, have been deliberately slowing down services like Netflix just so they can force Netflix to pay unprecedented fees for priority access. And they were successful at this. You may have seen the news items about Netflix under protest paying Comcast so they can keep reaching their customers. Now if Comcast and Verizon and AT&T start slowing down not just our games and movies but also websites like Twitch or any new platform that give people the ability to reach an audience, people's ability to start the new Facebook or the new Google or the new YouTube and people's ability to just like us make a significant and positive difference online will fade rapidly. And right now FCC's new proposal will explicitly allow ISPs to make special fast lane deals without having to invest in bandwidth for other sites and services. The FCC tries to defend this by saying that they will be fair and strict about it. But what good are these promises when even the court recently suggested to the FCC that the law itself is flawed and needs to be adjusted? The law should say that internet service providers are access providers, legally known as common carriers. ISPs are currently wrongly classified. They're classified as information providers that have freedom in how they want to provide information to you. This is of course dead wrong. ISPs don't provide information, they provide access to information. They should not be free to manipulate or discriminate in any shape or form and it's actually widely accepted by lawmakers and scholars that reclassifying ISPs as common carriers is by far the best way to protect the openness of the internet. Tell this to the FCC in your email. It is by far the most effective way to have an impact. The FCC chairman has explicitly stated that he's actually considering reclassification. But he has literally hinted that they think it is unwise to go through all the hassle to make that happen. And right now it's very unlikely that they will reclassify and instead they will probably go through with a proposal that kills the internet as we know it. No longer will it be a level playing field. It'll be an information service provided by companies who make a lot of money by deciding which services you can access at a tolerable speed. We have to do everything we can to make clear to the FCC that reclassification is absolutely required for a fair and open internet. I added some additional notes and links on things you can include or talk about in your email, so make sure to check the description, spread the word, and let's hope that by May 15th, when the FCC actually comes forward with their proposal, we will have convinced them to protect the openness of the internet. Tomorrow at around 8 p.m. CET we'll be doing a community event to make our voices heard. We'll see you then.